I'm going to show you how to install the blogging tool called WordPress. So go to WordPress.org and uh, download the software onto your computer. Then the next step is to create a database. Uh, WordPress uses the MySQL database. So on your host's control panel for your domain, uh, you need to find somewhere where you can create a new database. And uh, this could be MySQL 4 or 5, it doesn't really matter. But give it a name. Here I'm calling it WordPress DB. Make a note of the name and the username and password. And then unzip the uh, package onto your computer. Change the name of the wp-config sample file to wp-config and then edit that file. In this file you need to make changes to four parameters which you should have noted from your host when you were creating the database earlier. The name, user, password and uh, the host. This might actually just be localhost in your case. Save the file and then you're ready to upload WordPress to your domain and uh, you can use an FTP client to upload the software to uh, a directory on your domain. Then you're ready to run the WordPress install script which can be found in wp-admin install.php. Click first step then uh, give your new blog a title and uh, enter an email address and uh, click continue. WordPress will then install. Then you'll be given uh, the default admin username and password which you can use then to log in to your new blog and uh, perhaps the first thing you'd want to do when you're there in your new dashboard is to change that username uh, under users. View site takes you to your new blog.